my throw it all in the food processor cake mix method is at it again. And today we are making strawberry cake. Super light and fluffy, delicious strawberry cake layers. It's never been easier to make an amazing vegan cake. I am first going to puree my fresh strawberries with the sugar and get those pureed down. And then we're just going to add all the rest of the cake ingredients. And that is how easy it is. We're going to add some plant milk. This is an oil-based recipe. You can also use melted vegan butter if you like. A little bit of vanilla extract, salt, baking powder, and the flour. So you know me, typically I like to bake my cakes into seven inch cake pans, but today I'm going to do two nice thick eight inch layers for this strawberry cake recipe. So my oven is preheated to 350 degrees and let's get these baking. but everything does have to cool down before we can build the cake. And in the meantime, I'm going to prepare my new obsession, favorite buttercream recipe for five times less sugar buttercream. If you have not checked out that full length video tutorial, you definitely want to see how I made this. This buttercream is so delicious but it does taste like whipped cream. It is so light and airy and just, ooh, delicious. I am in love with this new recipe. So now while those strawberry cake layers are baking, we're going to take these frozen strawberries that are already thawing out completely. And you know me with my secret weapon for strawberry compote or any berry compote for that matter. I love to add some cranberries. Cranberries have the most natural thickener to them and it just really brightens up a mixed berry compote or a strawberry compote beautifully. Sometimes I add sugar and sometimes I don't, but today I'm feeling a little bit sweeter. So I'm gonna add just a couple tablespoons of sugar to my compote, get that to the stove and let it start really cooking down. Those cranberries are going to start bursting and everything's just going to turn into this really beautiful, thick, saucy compote. And after just about 20 minutes of simmering, this beautiful strawberry compote is ready to be the filling for our cake. Now you could leave this compote chunky if you want to use it that way in your cake, but I'm going to puree this down just a little bit so that it's more of like a preserve-like consistency for the filling of my cake. And just be aware that this will definitely thicken up a lot more as it gets colder. I don't know about you, but easy is the name of my game lately with really simple recipes that go into this rustic style two layer cake. I'm just gonna give it a quick icing, nothing fancy because the taste is the star of this show. I wish we had smell-o-vision because if you guys could smell the strawberries in this room right now, it is so incredible. Now, don't forget my pro bakery tip for keeping your fruits nice and shiny on top of your cakes and pastries. I've got some melted apricot jam here with just a little bit of water to thin it out and this is going to keep your fresh fruit on top of your cakes and pastries really beautiful looking. So 
if I had to name my greatest weakness, it is that I don't let these cakes set up in the refrigerator before I cut them. But I just can't wait. I need to eat them right away. So what you can always count on here at Gretchen's Vegan Bakery is successes and fails in real time. And this one is going down as a major success. If pink velvet had a flavor, it would be this cake. Triple strawberry layer cake just bursting in every bite. And it's so easy to make. So you have no excuses. Head over to my website at gretchensveganbakery.com to grab all the recipes. Real quick, a great big shout out to my patrons on Patreon and my pals in PayPal who are actually funding this effort so that I can continue to share these recipes for free. As you know, the cost of ingredients are definitely not free and YouTube, well, is being YouTube. So if you think you can help for as little as a cup of coffee a month, definitely click the links below and find out how. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.